Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're going to be diving into the Bitcoin chart together going over in a very simplistic and easy to understand video the next support and resistance levels to be aware of going into the weekend start of next week of trading. Uh, this week has actually been an extremely busy week for me as we prepare to go into the World Series of Trading next week. We've been getting a lot of things ready in the back end. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really, really ready for that going into Monday. So everybody needs to be aware of that date because we're expecting some nice volatility this weekend. So uh, yeah, I want to go over some really important levels, keep this short and sweet. And so you understand everything that we're going into here. So let's just get straight into it. Uh, we all know what's happened in the last bit of the chart. Obviously, we pulled that Fibonacci from high to low. We came up into the CC on that four-hour order block, and we got a pullback. Where was one of the first levels that we were aware of while making our video a few days ago here? Obviously, these last series of lows. In the end, what happened? Really simply, if I just take this horizontal ray and connect it to that last low, we can actually see when we zoom in here how we come down, took that low, and we obviously got this bounce then reoccurring to the upside. This shows us a few things. Uh, first of all, in my opinion, it's highlighting some strength here locally on the Bitcoin chart not getting this major pullback okay and really simply taking liquidity with a nice move to the upside as we all know bitcoin loves to take this liquidity what is what is the reason of bitcoin bouncing here a lot of people might be thinking oh my god you know i was long from the daily retest i've moved my stop loss up and then it takes my stop loss and it bounced and that's the exact reason why it happened bitcoin loves to come down take these lows take these highs take stop losses and reverse and that's why you hear a lot of people all the time saying oh my god it hit my stop loss and then it reversed or oh my god I longed and then it reversed and that's because people get really bullish up into the resistance highs and then well you go bearish or getting stop losses at the lows before reversals this is why you have to be really careful with understanding market maker theory understanding where liquidity is standing and just you know really simply aware of those next support and resistance levels and that's what i want to move on to next because we actually have some really crucial like really 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 important levels that i'm going to actually give you for free here of course right above us we have the top of that cc that coming in at about twenty two thousand dollars moving on to that daily around twenty two thousand five hundred and fifty but for me, I'm actually really liking this. This is on the TPO chart. You can actually see how the TPO chart here has been really well respected, bouncing off these NPOCs. But I'm actually really aware of this one back from the 13th of June. And that gives us this NPOC with the time and volume coming together there at around this region of 23,700-ish, okay? Moving up to around $24,000. I do approach this as a zone. As you can see, we got this secondary high volume node coming in here around 24K. So this gives us like a really nice area of resistance, which would also give us like a nice potential high of the range. That's why I'm really focused on this area. Should we get up to here? Having an alert set. And then as you all know, hopefully you start start to understand by now when that alert goes off I've not got any shorts preset rather I'm going to have the alert go off and then come down here on a lower term time frame be aware of what's happening on the order flow take a look really simply to make an informed decision of what is the activity at this level if there is high activity high demand I'm going to really simply look for that level to break and look higher on the Bitcoin chart towards levels such as 25 26 thousand dollars should we come up to that level we see decreases in volume we actually see supply coming back into the market well that's when i can look for that short position and trade it back down to at least the poc of the range eg i have for example i have the level that you are aware of where we actually have more than just this confluence we actually are lining up here with four levels of confluence thus this is a level for me that is highly important it might take a while to get up to here if it gets up to here there's no guarantees in trading but should it get up to that level that's the level that i'm going to be ready waiting for to trade have an alert set and then come in here with the order flow to make an informed decision of whether this is good enough for me to actually look for a long on a back test or a short off of a off of a rejection that is the informed decision that i'll make off of that level of resistance so you might want to write this down and record it because i do think it's going to be important uh, to the level to the downside, we can still see we have this NPOC, which we were looking at in the last video. Of course, we didn't quite make it down this far because we just simply took this low off of the 20th of June coming in at 8 p.m. Something that I am aware of going into the weekend is, of course, the CME. Uh, the CME is going to be closing tonight. That will be closed for the weekend, opening back up again Sunday night. The CME gap for me this week is going to be important because it's going to be highly correlated to uh, the, the, the arrival. Well, the 26th of June. <laughs> 
<laughs> just remember the 26th of June, everybody. Uh, but 26th, 27th of June, obviously, then the World Series of Trading starting. This is obviously a massive trading competition. The volume is going to be flowing. So we can expect increased volatility on Bitcoin over the next few weeks while the World Series of Trading is going on. I'll speak about that more towards the end of the video, but for me, that's just something that we have to be aware of because for sure, there's going to be more activity. This is a multi-million dollar competition and, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot more people, you know, being active in the market. Obviously, at the moment, we have seen a decrease in volume over recent days as Bitcoin bounced off of that $18,000, came back up to the CC. And over the past few days here, we've actually seen real low volume, okay? Bitcoin just going ranging in this range. But as we know, with this low volume range that's occurring here on Bitcoin, and I'm obviously talking about a lower term time frame range here that we've got going on. This is giving really great bounces on the altcoins. So if you are remaining patient on Bitcoin, you are waiting for one of the bigger levels to be touched, either for a long or or a short position. I'm open to trading both sides of the market here. Uh, the altcoins are actually absolutely offering really great volatility. You can see green across the board. Most altcoins are green. Uh, most are getting really strong bounces, especially over the past few days as Bitcoin has ranged here. You know, we've so we've seen 10% plus bounces on the alt. So for me, they've been offering like really nice volatility here to be trading while actually remaining a little bit more patient on the Bitcoin. There has been scope day trades to be had here, but I have taken, well, I've actually taken only one trade over the past two days, which for me is very little here on Bitcoin. But I've been able to get into a few swing trades on the alt, so that, of course, makes me very happy. <laughs> um, and a few, few things I want to uh, announce here before we move on. First of all is that if you have not seen it, then Igor done his uh, order blocks live stream on Wednesday, which has actually received an extremely high amount of positive uh, feedback. This was a stream, a must watch. Uh, it's going to change the way you trade. And this was where we told you we're going to give you a uh, secret the template. Audio. Uh, we have now released that secret weapon template for everybody too. So if you haven't already checked this out, make sure you come over to chartchampions.com. Check out the new live streams that we have for you. Check out the new templates. That's an exo web. That's an exo desktop. That's an Atis template. Uh, you know, the whole new strategy that has been formulated. Um, you know, you want to come and check this out basically. So that's over on the website if you haven't done that already. You can see the new, uh, you know, the new sites really coming together here. We're finally getting all the moving pieces and, you know, people are working really, really, really hard that you don't see to, you know, to make this absolutely perfect for you. Um, so that's the first announcement that I wanted to give you. And of course, the second one, really simply going back to that World Series of Trading. If you're not aware already and you're not in our team, come over and sign up, basically. This is going to be starting on Monday. So you've still got a few days left to sign up. Really simply, all you need to come over, uh, obviously in the socials within Discord, you can find it. I'll leave in the, in the comments section down below. You just want to come over here, check out the old video that I made maybe, sign up to our team and be in with a chance of winning with us up to, obviously it's, it's looking like it's gonna be about a $2.5 million prize. Um, so this is obviously split between everybody in the team. There's no real downsides here in joining. It's a free competition and you're gonna be guaranteed money because we're gonna be finishing in the top 10 pretty much guaranteed. And obviously we're going for the first place. We're going for the win, we're going for the cup, we're going for the championship. So I have absolute high confidence in us doing very well in this. So come and join our team if you haven't already. And if that wasn't enough, if that wasn't enough to entice you to join our team, also we have a new bonus for you. And this is for everybody that makes a new account. So this is only new people on Bybit. But there's a $3,000 bonus, which I've got upgraded to $4,000. Okay. And really simply, once you create a new account via our affiliate partner link, uh, you can come over here and join the new deposit bonus. Again, this is actually going to be changed to $4,000 under everybody under Chart Champion. So a free extra $1,000, um, you know, never hurt anybody. So that's for if you want to make use of deposit bonuses under new Bybit accounts. For everybody else, you can come over and join our team. Instruction is going to be left in the description down below. It is basically the biggest trading competition in the world, the highest prize fund. We're expecting increased volatility going into this, and you can see it starts in two days, 22 hours. So make sure you join our team now um, before Monday. So with that said, uh, yeah, I'm going to be obviously uh, really, really, really active and looking forward to this trading competition starting on Monday. 
Um, but at the end of the day, I'm going to not trade in any different sort of style. I'm just incre expecting increased volatility. And today, I've still got my levels. I'm still going to remain patient here on Bitcoin. I'm not going to trade just to trade, but I am expecting that increased volatility. Um, <laughs> kind of like we've got going on with the altcoins. So I really do feel that the altcoins are... are well, let's just say lovely right now. What I will say, if you want to smash the likes on this video, let's say if we can get it to 3,000 likes, I'll take the most requested altcoin in the description down below and I'll do a full in-depth technical analysis, maybe even on a live stream for the public so I can do some question and answers and interactivity with you all. So if that's of interest, you hit that like button, comment down below your altcoin and the most requested altcoin or the highest voted altcoin, I will do an in-depth technical analysis should we reach 3,000 likes. Okay, so that sounds good. Good. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video. I've tried to keep it professional. I've tried to keep it concise. And I've also tried to keep it very simple. Of course, we can go extremely in-depth. But I've tried to keep this simple for you in the public. So I know we have a big range of viewers from absolute beginners to obviously expert traders alongside me. But um, yeah, all I want to say is thank you ever so much. If you want to go out and check all of the new latest live streams, we obviously got content coming out every single day. You're getting update videos. And of course, that really juicy new video from Igor covering the order blocks. Very requested, very weighted for um that's now live so go and check that out and uh, join our team for the world series of trading i'll just wrap it up here by saying thank you ever so much i will see you in the competition starting on monday and have an absolutely wonderful weekend everybody love you all thank you ever so much and ending with always the no financial advice legal disclaimer have a great one thank you ever so much and um yeah <laughs> cheers everybody thank you and goodbye